Hello everybody, my name is Emily and I am a fourth year Foundation Phase student and today I wanted to talk a little bit more about planning, how I do so, super super informal, just quickly I was busy planning and I thought I would just share a few tips and tricks if you could even call it that, um, this is just basically how I plan, it does change from day to day depending on how I feel, um, but this is just kind of the the what's the word like the main way that I keep up with my planning so I'm just putting you down on my laptop quickly and what I want to show you is none of this is like super like formal like um, I know okay I have a cover page but this is just literally a old flip file that I found um, and then I've made like my own dividers like literally just written down the subject name and then in between I print out I prefer to print out my tasks um, that's just the way that I feel comfortable and the way that I feel like I succeed and am more productive so then I print out like um, each assignment and then put it under each subject and that way I also know um, which assignments I've completed and which ones I still need to do um, and then obviously I highlight the due date just to make sure that I do have it but all my due dates go into my diary and they go into my big desk calendar which is here next to me which I always have access to and can easily see so that definitely does help and then this is powerpoints and notes um, I was just too lazy to make another cover for now um, and I'm also not sure I might use it for notes but as of right now I just have our year planning in it so each subject that we get um gets a little table like this on the side they give us the week that we are in and then what we'll be doing and the resources that we are working out of which i find extremely helpful this way if i've missed a class or if i've missed a recording i can see what i have done what i haven't done and where i need to be where i need to be up to date do i understand everything when I read the planning. So I just make sure I have the planning for each subject. It makes it a lot easier um, to keep up, especially with online. This is the newest thing that I'm doing at the moment. I'm seeing if it's helping. So far, so good. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then the very last thing is my newest little scheduling thing. Um, I am very structure driven, I need the structure, I need time limits to get things done um, because otherwise I will procrastinate, as you can see I'm in my room, it's so easy to just go lay down, whatever, whatever, so these are basically the goals that I would like to achieve in the day and the X amount of time that I have to like execute it, um, but also putting emphasis on not really like totally stressing myself out about if I don't get it done because sometimes the goal is to do research and research doesn't just happen in like an hour um, so I've literally written everything I've worked my meals into it I have worked um, even working out I've worked showering all of it into it so um, so far it's been good I like to be able to see where I am and then I obviously just check the time to make sure that I'm on track you can even set alarms if you are really getting into the work but you don't want to fall behind so basically my schedule ends at three o'clock but that's not to say like that it definitely will finish at three o'clock maybe other things will come up because i do have classes so as like the day goes on it i might add on to it but like that's why i ended at three o'clock because then if i need to add on to it i can um which is very very helpful um yesterday was monday today's tuesday obviously i was feeling extremely demotivated a little bit stressed and overwhelmed about everything um, and so I needed like a change so literally wrote this little schedule in a book that I found um, I wrote the schedule at like 10 o'clock last night I um, cleaned my desk and then I went to bed and like literally that's just how it started so I think every night I will write the schedule out for the next day um, and then I'll see how that works so I got the idea from a teacher so when i was doing practical this is how she would write her day out 
um, because foundation phase, we're not really on like a rigid schedule according to the school wells. So she would, to make sure that she's on track with all her work, to make sure that she meets the requirements each week so that she can get through her planning and the CATS planning, etc., etc. She would write it out like that. And then every time she finished something, she would tick it off. And she would make sure she would set the alarm. She would make sure here and there she would add a five minutes, take away a five minutes, depending, because you have to be adaptable. Um, but I thought this was also a good way to maybe get into the planning of your day as a teacher, especially as a foundation phase teacher, because you are not strict according to the bowels and when they ring. Anyway, I do hope this video was helpful. Um, just a little quick one. And please do like and subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it and it helps my channel out. Um, and I will see you all in the next video.